reignite the giant Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Before moving on to our video, please don't forget to like the videos by subscribing to the channel. The United Nations Nuclear Control Agency, IAEA, said Ukraine's massive Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is receiving energy from the national grid. Bomb attacks in the region damaged the power lines connected to the power plant. All six reactors are in a cold standstill, but the facility needs external energy to cool its reactors and protect them from the risk of a meltdown. The IAEA says the situation at the factory, which belongs to the Russian troops, has improved but remains unstable. Earlier this month, a team of nuclear experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, traveled to Zaporizhia, Europe's largest nuclear power plant. The trip was followed by increased calls for security oversight from Ukraine and the international community after reports of bombings. Russia and Ukraine accused each other of bombing the plant in southeast Ukraine. After the IAEA's initial inspection, the agency announced it would maintain a permanent presence to monitor the situation. The IAEA reported on Saturday that team members at the field learned that one of the four main outside power lines damaged by the bombing on Saturday was repaired, allowing electricity to be drawn directly from the national grid. Major Excavations in Izium Forest Graves the discovery of mass graves in Izium, further east in Ukraine, prompted the European Union presidency to call for the establishment of an international war crimes tribunal. Hundreds of bodies have been found in a forest on the outskirts of the city, which recently came under Ukrainian control following the withdrawal of Russian forces. Many, including women and children, are said to be civilians. Ukraine suspects war crimes. Such attacks on civilians in the 21st century are unthinkable and heinous, said Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lepavsky, who holds the rotating EU presidency. This should not be overlooked. We are in favor of the punishment of all war criminals, he tweeted. I call for the speedy establishment of a special international tribunal to prosecute the crime of aggression, he said. Clashes intensified on Saturday in the divided region of eastern Donetsk, which is largely controlled by Russian-backed separatists. The separatist mayor of the city of Donetsk said four people were killed when the Ukrainian government bombed a central district, while the Ukrainian governor of the Donetsk region accused Russian forces of disrupting the drinking water supply by bombing a thermal power plant in Mykolaivka. In the region, the UK's Ministry of Defense said Ukrainian troops continued their counterattack in the country's northeast after successfully retaking areas from Russia in recent days. He added that Russia has set up a defensive line protecting one of its main supply routes from Belgorod near the Ukrainian border. Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Friday that Ukraine's counterattack would not change Russian military plans in eastern Ukraine. 